Hi, my name is Alexei Gudusman, and this is my co-anchor, Invisible Mini Steve Gadd. Welcome to Amuse News, the news that may amuse you if a muse would use the news to muse upon muse. <coughs> yes, I'm well aware that that sentence didn't actually make much sense. But then again, how about this one? The complex houses married and single soldiers and their families. Does it make sense? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Please comment why below and hit subscribe and like while you're at it, you stingy finger clickers. What does it cost? It's one click. Come on. Oh, I'm not going to click. I'm different. Do it. The headlines this week. There are no headlines. Nothing happened anywhere. All musicians are in lockdown, except for the ones who are not. Informative? Perhaps not. But, well, there's no but and no headlines. <coughs> yeah, sorry about the outfit. It's, um, it's literally all I had in my closet. Many of you have asked me, why don't you make up jokes about percussion? <laughs> well, when I say many, I mean absolutely no one. Here goes nothing. There is an audition for percussion in the Berlin Philharmonic. One guy from Hamburg and one guy from Bonn. Who makes it to the next round? The one from Bongos through. How do Spanish percussionists like their mineral water? Con gas. What happened when the man got hit over the head with some congas? He got congustion. Yes, I made all those jokes up myself, except for the last one, which is half by a very special lady who is a regular on Amuse News. Her name is, of course, Lucy Landymore, and she is here to present you her musical tutorials. Hi, I'm here today, and we're going to have a tutorial on the accordion. Here is the accordion. This is a big fat piano basically and it has a stretchy thing in the middle which makes the sound. The technical term for this actually is Johann Gambleputty de von Ausfern Splendenschlitter Kraskren von Fried Digadangle Dungle Burstein von Nackatrasher Applebanger Horowitz Tickelensic Grandinotti Speltinkle Grandlach Grumblemeyer Speltewasser Kerslach Himmel Eisenbahnwagen Guten Abend bitte ein Nuremberger Bratwurstel Gespurten mit zwei Makalube Hunsfoot Gumbaraba Schöne Danke Kaltfleisch Mittelracker von Hauskopf of Ulm. Anyway, here we go. This is a traditional song from the day when the accordion was invented, which is in the 1562, December. Every week I tell you what great strings our sponsor Tomastic Infeld makes. And, oh uh, well, uh, there I did it again. No, seriously though, they are really good strings. And now for something completely different. Tomastic Strings out of this world. This time I would like to introduce a special segment by a very unique musician. He's my favorite bass player from Northern Ireland, less famous than Davey 504, better doing the weather report than Dave Petucci, and way more alive than Dave Pastorius. The one and lonely Dave Marks with his bass time. Hey you there, the guy on the Zoom meeting. Yeah, you. Are you struggling with lockdown? Yeah. Boring, isn't it? Yeah. Do you feel... Do you feel tired? Yeah? Lonely? S stupid? What about erectile dysfunction? You got... You got the erectile dysfunction? Is that a thing? No? You sure? Uh... What about sleep? Struggling with sleep? Yeah, right. Okay. You've tried all the other things that you think could help you with going to sleep, like sleeping pills, or meditation, reading a good book, 
practicing a little bit of self-care. Nah, see, you're losing your temper now. You're never gonna get to sleep. Are you ready to try something new and revolutionary? Then call Bass Chatter today and find out about all the interesting things that bass players all around the world are talking about. Like David504 on YouTube, or the other guy. String Gauge, Slap Technique, uh, probably more stuff about String Gauge. They love that. And there he is, he's off to sleep. Mission accomplished. You'll fall asleep when you're leaving the house, when you're trying to get work done, when you're behind the wheel of a car. <coughs> You can even do it when you're riding your bike. <laughs> You'll be lucky if you manage to get to the bed. So call 1-800-BASE right now. But please make sure that you're in a seated position or lying down before you do. Side effects may include an actual interest in the bass guitar, understanding of sub technique and a knowledge of string gauge and why it's actually important. Please consult your doctor or physician before calling. Now for the main portion of this episode of Amuse News, our new semi-regular feature, Sounds from Abroad. Look, I'm aware that travel may not be as easy as we are used to during Corona times. However, since I myself had the virus and came out of it alive, I decided to take the opportunity to explore the world of music abroad in a special way for once, without having to perform in some grand concert hall. It was time to take Amuse News on the road for the first time. So if you will, Amuse News Cruise. Budget permitting, next time I intend to bring the Amuse News production cruise with me for a special Amuse News Cruise Cruise. <laughs> God, we need some new writers here. Anyway, I identified two places. I also picked these places for musical reasons and not at all to do with the beautiful weather and the sandy beaches. We will be visiting Dubai and the Maldives. I chose to start in Dubai and take the charming Lucy Landymore with me because I don't know what to do by myself. Many things about Dubai may surprise you. Dubai is famous for one thing, and that is slimy, slithery, smelly oil. But amazingly enough, oil only makes up 5% of its GDP. This is according to a very reliable source from a quick Google search. We also learned that in just a few years time, oil in the United Arab Emirates will run out. However, it has diversified its assets. And interestingly enough, 95% of its income now derives from tourism, property, and music shops. Music shops? Now, who's buying all the music in Dubai? Or do they sell instruments? What is their slogan? Dubai music in Dubai? And why only music shops? Where are the kebab shops or hat shops? What about camel stores, carpet warehouses, and Bentley showrooms? Why especially music shops? Since I will be there in person, I can actually find out what is behind it. And if I run out of music to buy, I surely won't run out of things to see in Dubai. We're here in Vienna Airport, about to take off to Dubai. So now it's time for a camel ride. This is not a camel, this is a bicycle, but I need a bicycle to get to the camel. So I'm riding here on my bicycle in this beautiful Al Wadi Ritz Carlton Resort. I think uh, I'll be shooting a bit of a music video on it as well. I think I'll be asking as well what kind of music the, the people listen to there. I mean the camel tenders, the lords of the camel, uh, the Bedouins. Um, that'd be quite interesting to know what, what the sound uh, of the desert really sounds like. Lucy is going to be filming me. Here's my music traveler bag. Good morning. Oh my god, there's a there's an oris. A strange horny goat. 
What is the name of the camel? This Millie. Hey Millie. There we go. One can get used to it. I think once one starts riding camels, it's like riding a bicycle, really. I did actually do a video on an elephant before. I believe it was for Sherlock Holmes for the soundtrack. Do you know what kind of tea the camels drink? Water? No, they drink chamomile tea. So a camel like this does not have to drink for a week. Is that right? Yeah. But uh, then, after the seven days, usually there's a big party yeah. and they drink, they drink champagne. I hope you enjoyed the sunset and now the desert. So we're here at the Al Wadi Desert. This is one of the horniest goats of Dubai. Oh, Neath Camacus is another animal that I've just. Oh my god! And it seems to be very tame. Very tame, not scared at all of human life forms. Yeah, he's not, no, he doesn't really seem to mind human life forms. Let's pet him a bit, pet him. Oh, now he's scared. <laughs> As you can see, I have the Al Wadi Desert right behind me and I'm going to get ready now for the classical photo shoot that we'll have. So we'll wear classical attire with our violins and uh, I think that could fit really well into the desert. We had our video shoot here with this incredible background. Basically, it was with Lucy Landymore, who is a wonderful multi-percussionist and composer, and Alexandra Prusil, who is a very dear friend of fantastic violinists. They're both technically not dancers. Actually, uh, Lexi Prusil is a wonderful ballet dancer, as you may have seen in some of my shows. <laughs> things I'm always trying to convey in Amuse News. Us musicians, we can do whatever we want. Remember that song? I won't ever do what you tell me. Hey, hey, honey, yo. I won't do whatever I want. Many people may talk and, and they will talk and they will talk smack and rubbish and, and horrible things about us, about us loonies. But you know what? That's okay because we control our own narrative. At the same time, if we're not affected by what people say, we have 100% freedom. This is not always easy to do, but once you understand it, it's so liberating. So, enjoy. All I want is to be do, be do. We're here at the beautiful Ritz-Carlton Alhambra quite a contrast to the desert. We've got our own pool here, which is beautiful to practice violin in. Let me show you around a little bit. Follow me. The Alhambra Island, which this hotel is actually built on. It's quite an interesting uh, history. The United Arab Emirates are Muslim, but of course, Alhamra, ham. So they don't eat pork, but this island was based on ham, essentially. So this was quite an, a discrepancy. That's why they decided to get rid of the ham and build this resort. Look, a hammock. Oh yes, that's the life. Push me, come on. Push me. Push me. Oh yeah. 
That's it. One of the hardest things um, in life is when you really have to work during hot temperatures. Filming for Amuse News can really be exhausting. Also, there's the danger of coconuts falling on my head, so I'm in grave danger, but I do all my stunts myself. For example, this one. Danger could be my middle name, but it's Jeff. But now it's time to get serious. We tried to find the sounds of the desert. It's pretty silent. The Ritz-Carlton Dubai is going to put me together with a local musician, actually, one of the musicians who works at the Arab restaurant. And through him, we're going to discover some local musicians and we're going to see what kind of music they play. Just getting ready to meet an Arab musician. <laughs> We are at the gold souk, which means it's the gold market here in Dubai, so this is rather exciting. For music instruments. The old ones or the new ones? Old ones. Old instruments. Oh. Arab instruments. So far we did not have any luck finding instrument shops. Uh, but we have some more to explore tomorrow. Uh, here's a guy with a falcon. <laughs> We have just had a really delicious meal in uh, the Arabian Tea House. Still having trouble finding local music because everything is kind of shut because of uh, Corona times. Hoping to meet up with the violinist tomorrow and he's still trying to find a percussionist. Until then, we're going to hit the night in Dubai. <laughs> Hello, this is Lucy reporting for Amuse News. Amuse News Takeover because Alexi told me he can't be bothered to do it anymore except for the fact that he's got loads and loads of time on his hands. He just can't be bothered. He would rather sit in bed all day and play video games. I mean, we could all see that coming from the last episode with the video games. I like playing your computer games, computer games, computer games. Yeah, so it's me from now on. Yay! Every episode so, at no, the no, beach. Wait, wait. Yay! What are you doing? Hey, hey, hey. Ah! This is Lucy taking over Amuse News. Here we have the Burj Khalifa. Wow! This is where the fountains happen. Have a look at this. Playing different music, the old classics, normally from the 80s, 90s, Michael Jackson, that kind of stuff. Frozen. I'm here at the Dubai Mall. I have found one of those famous music shops in Dubai. In fact, it happens to be a Virgin megastore. Can you believe those still exist here? <laughs> That is seriously old style. They even have records here. Vinyl records. This is the newest albums that have just been released here. 
and uh, you can buy pianos here. I'm trying to find right now um, the elevator to the VIP entrance for the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world. We're gonna go up to the 148th floor, the top floor of it, and see what happens there. This is the view from uh, the Burj Khalifa at Samsung. From dusk till dawn on top of the Burj Khalifa. Dubai is a place of superlatives. It's got incredible buildings. It has the highest building in the world, but it also has the smallest bus. It is built for dwarfs. We've just had some uh, crazy news. We were about to fly to the Maldives tonight. We were going to meet with the musicians and question them about music, jam together, learn from them. When I got a positive corona test now i already had COVID 19 in november and i even have strong antibodies so it's really weird that i have a, a positive test doesn't really make any sense at all i spoke to people here and it just means i have to quarantine in this room or suite for 10 more days <laughs> thousand years later after 10 days in quarantine i'm just getting ready to meet the musicians i'm very very excited uh, this is our last day here they should be coming here any minute and we'll find out more about music here in dubai this is muatas and salman who are going to be uh, teaching us a little bit about arab music maybe So we're here, um, we're here with Muatas and Salman yeah. who, in Dubai. Finally, we are able to meet. Arab music is not equal in every country. You have many different styles. In Syria, you have a different style yes, from... Yes. Do you have a style of Dubai or United Arab Emirates, a specific style, local? Yeah. Yes. Gulf music. Gulf music. How would Syrian music be, for example? How, how would it sound? Damascus. Yeah, okay, from and, Damascus. and as a contrast, how would something from Dubai sound? Golf music. Golf music. Uh, from Emirates cannot do what the Saudi play. Lkhbeti or Lkhbeti al Araj. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yes. When you play. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This. Gal. Yes. You have to. Yeah. This is one, two, three, four in golf rhythm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What is the name of the rhythm? Khbeti. Khbeti. Yeah. Khbeti in Russia, Khbeti. Khbeti. Yeah, like in Russia, Khbeti. Well, what does Khbeti mean in Russian? Khbeti? Oh. No. <laughs> no, no. You have many countries, you have different grooves. For example, in Vienna, where we live, yeah. you have the waltz. You know, the famous waltz. Uh... Except the rhythm is one, two, three, one. That's not. Ah. You know how the rhythm is? Yes. 
ba 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 Do you know Beethoven's Ninth Symphony? to learn how is the culture and then change it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. How do you, you tune the violin in, Ar in Arabic countries? G, D, D, G, D. G, D. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of cheating, isn't it? The Moroccans play like like yes, this, yes. right? Moroccan, yeah. What? That's your own music as well. When you write for film music, do they ask you please make it Arabic style? No. 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 You just write what, what, what you feel. What, what, yes. Do you know that he did a, like a corona video <laughs> with his son? Aww. It's called Stay at Home. Stay, stay in Home. Stay uh, in Home. It's called <laughs> Stay in Home. <laughs> song, uh, not I make it. Uh, he uh, he wrote yes, it. Yes, yes. I want to show his stay in home video, which is genius. It's basically like my song. Corona na na na. Stay at home. Corona na na na. Don't you move. But better. In Arabic. In Arabic, yeah. It's like the Corona na na na, but in Arabic. Stay in home. Don't go out. episode was streamed on Music Traveler. Check it out on musictraveler.tv. And above all, subscribe to my channel and become the greatest human being since sliced bread. <laughs>